Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And today I want to talk about the Bravo Concealment. Uh, I think it's called a Super Pack or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to call it a civilian battle belt. It's kind of a made up term. But, or, or a concealable battle belt, I guess is maybe a better way to say that. But it has the main elements that I would want on a battle belt. And it, it comes in kind of these three little packs and it comes all together. I think it's like 80 bucks. Uh, pretty decent deal. And I ordered mine about a month ago. I got it about a week ago and I've been testing it out since then. And I've really liked it. And so I thought I should share it with you. So the first thing let's talk about is the holster. Okay, holster comes with adjustable belt loops so you can adjust it for a straight draw rather than a canted draw. It comes set up for a 10 degree cant, uh, but you can adjust it for a straight draw, which is the best way to do that. I went with the outside the waistband holster. Eventually this is all gonna go into cache. I'll do a video on that later, or a cache, however you wanna pronounce that to be fancy. So with the holster itself, this is the 3.0 holster, which I like a lot. I think they did a really good job. This is a, uh, one I got about a year ago, and I think it's a 2.0. And as you can see here, the Kydex has a lot more flex to it. They used a lot thinner Kydex about a year ago. Whereas this is much stiffer. Uh, it, it's much more sturdy, and I just really like the feel of it a lot better. So I think they've really upped their Kydex game, and I love this holster. I think it's a fantastic holster. It clicks in pretty positively. You can hear that. Uh, it does not come out, right? So it's a great holster. Been a huge fan of that. There's no adjustable retention or anything uh, on this particular holster, but it doesn't need it. it. As it is, comes great. I might end up end up cutting off the sweat guard here. I'm not a big fan of sweat guards in general on any of my holsters. And this bump here will kind of dig into your side a little bit, which can just get annoying. So, fantastic holster, highly recommended. I think just the holster you can buy on their website for like 40-ish bucks, 45 bucks, that's a steal. This is a fantastic holster. I would highly recommend it. So, that's the holster. They, on their 3.0 mag pouches here, they have a, this is a double mag pouch. And really what they did is they took two single pouches and they just riveted them together. Uh, usually if you look at their single pouches, it's just one of these with a belt loop right here, and they just riveted two of them together. This, this does have adjustable retention. I did have to play with that a little bit, but not a big deal. This is decently comfortable. It doesn't like wear on you. It, it, it weighs a decent amount, and it, it doesn't wear on you like it exhausts you or anything. So, love these. These are great. And then the Air 15 pouch has a great positive click and uh, comes out smooth, goes in smooth, it just has two simple belt loops, nothing complicated there. They do have a screw to adjust for attention. I never used that, uh, came great as is. I'm a huge fan of this pouch. I also like that they beveled the lips out a little bit here, which makes it a lot easier to put the mag back into the pouch. So that was some good thinking there, just a small little detail that was helpful. So the way all this works, right, is you can just take your standard belt. Uh, for me, this is a Magpul gun belt, right, or an Ares gear gun belt or whatever, and this can all fit on your gun belt, and it rides pretty comfortably. Like I said, I've, I've worn this whole kit for about a week, and it's not been too bad. I mean, it's, it's some weight, obviously, and if you have a good belt, that's going to really be the difference there between it being comfortable or not comfortable. However, I found it to be entirely comfortable, entirely adequate. And like I said, for me, I like this because one, it's affordable. I mean, it's 80-ish bucks that goes on a, a gun belt that you should own anyway. So it's not like you're really having to spend a lot of money on $100, $200 just on a new battle belt and then all the pouches and stuff to go on that. You can buy this as is and boom, you're ready to go. So I really appreciate that factor. And like I said, for me, this is eventually going to ride in a weapons cache. So it's not super expensive, yet it's completely functional. And that cache is going to reside somewhere where I often travel to to take classes. So I will no longer have to fly there with firearms, which is kind of a pain. And rather, I can just have this stashed in place. I can show up. I can put all this on. I can carry while I'm there. And then I can also take classes while I'm there and have all the requisite equipment. So this is a great little kit for that. If you want a battle belt kind of setup and you don't want to break the bank, this would be a really good option for you. Like I said, I love all this Kydex. It's extremely high quality for what it costs. I, I can't believe it. And 
it's extremely functional. It works really, really well. The only thing this battle belt setup is missing, of course, is, is some kind of medical kit, that which I would recommend you put on your belt, but you can do that separate. As it is for the tools for the fight, this is a great setup. Just super big fan of it. So I'm not wearing the most concealable shirt thing today, but it conceals decently well. Well enough that if I wanted to carry it and I wanted to conceal it, I could do that. Uh, the biggest thing to drop would be the AR-15 pouch, because I don't know if you're carrying a rifle around too much, but uh, that would be the easiest thing to drop. But honestly, I don't know if that really prints that bad. Uh, then the holster itself, of course, lines up, and you have your, your two mags. So it's, it's a nice little setup. It doesn't weigh too bad on a good gun belt. And like I said, I would recommend it to you. So that's all I have at this point. Let me know if you got any thoughts on it. Till then, do brave deeds and endure.